Greetings. Delta Black Light. We want you to look at uh look at this brother's expression. You don't have a good poker face because uh Look at their face. They profile us, so we're going to profile them. This story is being concocted to cover up wrongdoings in the LAPD. But LAPD is not acting alone. TMZ. Oh, TMZ is uh, Channel 2, right? Fox, right? Fox and uh, Trump, they're pretty chummy together. Trump, you know, he uses social media for communications. There's always, it's, it's something strange is happening in L.A., they can tr try to control the communication and paint a picture in your mind. I want to do y'all know what the real picture was really saying. On Sunday at about 3.20 in the afternoon, uh, Nipsey with two other males were standing in front of his store, as it has been reported that Mr. Holden walked up on, more, on multiple occasions and engaged in a conversation with Nipsey and the others that were there. He left and then came back and subsequently came back armed with a handgun and purposely and repeatedly fired, striking and killing Nipsey Hussle, as well as striking and injuring the, the other two, one requiring uh, them to be hospitalized or transported to a nearby hospital, the other uh, suffering a wound but was treated at scene. Mr. Holder, we have identified him through, at this point, the vid available video evidence, uh, statements, and information that we're getting from our community. And I cannot think enough that the community is the one who is helping us solve this case. As in... As we know, by now, the whole statement was a lie. He looked like he laughing about it, too. That was a lie. Y'all know by now that that was a lie. Number one, there was no evidence of a handgun. You, number two, you can't recognize if that's Eric Holder or not on the video that TMZ gave us, which is doctored up. every case. It is a community's engagement that makes our lives uh, safer, that provides justice for these victims and their families. Mr. Holder entered the passenger side of a, of a 2016 Chevy Cruze. It's a white four-door vehicle. Its license plate is 7 Robert John David, that's RJD 742. And the vehicle was driven by an unidentified uh, woman. Uh, that, was, uh, that vehicle was located in the alley adjacent to that mini mall strip center uh, my man right here. from the scene. Uh, we have, uh, as the mayor indicated, uh, we continue to seek the public's help and assistance twofold. Uh, people that were at that scene or have information from people who were at that scene that can help identify further and can provide us evidence of the persons responsible for this senseless murder, we ask that you call 
our South Bureau Homicide Detectives day or night. You also can use WeTip and Crime Stoppers. Report anonymously. We're not done in gathering evidence on this horrific shooting. Secondarily, is we, we want the public to help us identify and apprehend Mr. Holder. He said they're not done in gathering evidence. Then he said he wants you to apprehend Mr. Mr. Holder. Look at the brother. The brother got a frustrated look on his face. More than like he's sad. More, it's like a frustrated. Armed with a handgun, the senseless murder, this expression of violence represents that this is a man who is a, of a substantial risk to public safety and willing to use violence. And we want to see that stop. And we need the public's help in identifying him and to Mr. Holder, who I am confident is watching this and is listening to these media accounts as this is spread not only around this region but around, around this world. I ask him to surrender, to find a, law, a local law enforcement agency, to go to a station and surrender and to, uh, represent, and to defend himself as he feels appropriate, but to, to stop this mess, to stop this from continuing. Let me comment just briefly in, in regards to the, the context of this increase in violence. So January and February of this year, this city averaged approximately 13 shooting victims a week. And that number while it may sound high, is actually for Los Angeles Police Department and the Los City of, of Angels, it was at and below last year's numbers and the year before, substantially. March, we saw that number double to 26 on average. And nearly entirely that increase was in 77th area of South Los Angeles. 77th in January and February experienced just under five shootings a week. That number Look at it. expanded to nearly 15 on average uh -oh. a week in the month of March. Much of it is gang, in fact nearly all of it is gang related. Uh -oh. Nipsey Hussle's death and his tragic shooting, I have no information today that has that involved in this other shooting violence and that needs to be stressed. What we're seeing here is not just a shooting of a hip-hop artist, a profound individual coming back to give back to his community. What I'm concerned about as chief, and I know our community leaders are as well, is we've got to continue to go at this recent increase in shooting violence because it's not just a dispute over a, a personal matter. This is gang... Uh-oh, y'all heard that? So he's putting the idea in everybody's head that it's a gang, it's, it's really a gang related. It's not just a personal, personal matter. He's setting the stage up. For conflict in the community. This man right here, the, the, the told LA P Police Department is acting on a script. They're, they're following a script. Something is very strange in LA, the LAPD is covering up their involvement and we done got to the point now where we blaming the pawns instead of the king you know this gives the king uh, a little time to cover up his tracks So, 
we need the hood researchers that's out there in LA and those who know how to do that real good to uh, see if Eric Holder uh, can receive visitors if he can't receive visitors they need to go talk to the uh, this public defender find out who that is and if any like a uh, it would be cool if uh, Malik Zulu Shabazz, the former leader of the uh, Panthers, would go down there just to get to the bottom of this. We want to find out, you know. We don't want to say that the gangs are shooting up each other. See, the, you know, the CIA, they could put, plan a someone in the game yeah. we, we, we you want we want to get to the bottom of this so we're gonna need some uh, pro-black lawyers to go down there why they can't do no pro bono to find out just to find out what's really jumping off Why, uh, Sister Ava Muhammad, she a lawyer. Why you can't go down there, you know, and rep the young brother. That's the only way, you know, y'all gonna, uh, it's one way y'all can prove, you know. See, this is a touchy situation if you, if, if, if you, uh, Try to defend, defend, defend the brother. People gonna say, uh, you know, y'all sellouts. They already saying that. But then again, it's one way to get to the bottom of it and prove that the LAPD hands ain't clean in this. Black. Life.